obviously. Um, so it just felt really good to go out there, execute my plan perfectly, and just feel really strong. So I felt great. Uh, and and, and uh, just being able to, ha to have that tenacity and have that aggressiveness that you know you're going to need on, uh, on Thursday uh, to be able to, uh, to be up in the lead. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean uh, how much of that is the confidence gained as, as a result of this awesome training block? I think everyone knows I'm a pretty aggressive racer. I like to be in the front. Um, and... So being able to do that with some good confidence and just, you know, let all the nerves of the pre-race kind of melt away when I was out there on the track today with that big crowd and the, the sticky weather, um, it just felt so good. So I needed that race. I'm super happy with it, and I cannot wait for Thursday. Uh, how, how, how much patience has it been to, uh, to, finally, <laughs> to finally wait for this opportunity? Oh, gosh. Well, it's one of those things where you're like, it's finally here. Slow down time. But uh, I've been really happy this week here in Eugene, but also ready for it to start. So um, I'm super happy. Good luck. Good what job. did you say that your race plan was today? I heard you saying it, but I got here a little bit. Yeah, um, I just wanted to kind of get out in that um, out in the front on the shoulder whoever was leading and just make sure I had clean looks at every barrier, at every water jump, and just not feel like I had to push the pace too hard, but at the same time not feel like I was stuck in a pack and, you know, scrambling around. So... You mentioned not having that much confidence in Stockholm. What was the difference between that race and this race in terms of your mindset? I think it was just the last couple of races I had before here, I was with some really, really good girls. You know, in the 1500 at Furman, at Stockholm, with girls trying to go under nine minutes. And I think it just got a little too much in my head, along with the whole Olympic year pressure, um, this desire that I want to make this team more than anything. So um, I think that just got in my way, and we kind of had to go home, do some really great training, and just say, hey, this isn't me. Like, this isn't what I do. So, shake it off. Hit the reset button. Hit the reset. And that's what I'm going to do right now. As soon as I get out of here, totally reset, because the final is going to be a totally different game. So, you have been doing the trains gone all year? Yes, I am. I totally am. My last couple outdoor races prior to here were just a little, they just weren't my style. You know, I, I just wasn't racing like myself. So, those kind of just shook me up a little bit, but other than that, training's been going fantastic. What do you think the final's going to be like? Uh, that is a game that I can't play because I can see it going so many different ways. I just know it's going to be a fast one. Everyone will probably have to PB to make that team. So. What do you do on the off days? You know, just uh, enjoy the atmosphere of beautiful Eugene. Um, enjoy the meet a little bit because it's good to be in there and feel the crowd and the pressure without actually being on the starting line. Um, might visit a couple knit shops, go to some good brunches, you know, just try and stay, stay relaxed. Like knit shops? Yeah. You're a knitter? I'm a knitter. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, um, where, is your, where is your ethnicity from your parents' background? I'm Hispanic, so both of my uh, parents, grandparents from Mexico, but my parents are American, you know. They were born 